Hello ladies and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to style some loungewear. Um, there is a bit of a loungewear haul here as well. It's a loungewear haul. But I didn't want to call it a loungewear haul. Because it's more... I feel like there's been so many loungewear hauls done. I think everybody knows what loungewear is out there. What their vibe is. We're well into isolation now. So I thought this was a video that I do more on like how I'm styling my loungewear. Whilst showing you what i have bought and um, for me i don't really particularly believe in buying loungewear specifically for the house i'd rather buy pajamas um i'm thinking about cost per wear and effectiveness of spending so i'd rather buy things that i can wear at home that i can also style to wear out so for me i suppose it's not about um loungewear really it's actually comfortable clothes that you feel comfortable to wear at home because they're not too like special or precious but also that you can style and make a vibe to wear out as well so that is the video everything in this video is from asos h&m and topshop and i'm just going to show you what i've bought and then just style it up as i would always but i'm just going to hold the items up first i think as opposed to trying them on and talking you through them because it's more about the style so sorry if that was a very long intro but here we go so first i'm going to start off with what i am wearing so i am just wearing this boxy tee from h&m with a pair of joggers which come as a loungewear set from topshop this is my first piece of like loungewear tracksuit comfy clothes that i bought um, and i actually love it so much it's really really soft and stretchy feels really buttery on the skin so um, it's something that i enjoy wearing around the house but actually also would love to i can see myself wearing this on the nursery run when i'm running errands i could pop, pop it on with a pair of sliders that sort of thing you can dress this up dress it down you can keep it classic but you can also kind of make it a vibe make it a bit more edgy put it on with trainers maybe a leather jacket that sort of thing so i really really love this loungewear set as well as like wearing them as separates like I am now with the t-shirt and um, just the joggers as opposed to the full look. So this, sorry, by the way, is the jumper that it comes with, the sweatshirt that it comes with. Very, very lightweight. I feel like this can be worn just with jeans if you want to wear it a little bit more kind of um, like less lounge wear if you want to wear it out. And also with like denim shorts and that sort of thing, but also it looks really nice as a set together. I have done a whole style video with this tracksuit. I think I styled it about 10 ways or something like that over on my Instagram. I will try and link the video down below because it is on IGTV, I think. So I think I can link it down below. So you can check that out and see all the ways that I styled this um, loungewear set. So next up, I have this absolutely huge creative director tee from asos it is by weekday official but like i said i got it via asos everything in this haul is top shop asos and h&m so i absolutely loved this tea i mostly really just like the slogan i do think of myself as a bit of a creative director which is why i got it with this um slogan on it but it comes in plain and it comes in lots of different variations stripey i think it comes in like lilac and different colors and stuff like that but i really liked this creative director slogan so this is obviously a massive tea i think i got this in a medium yep and it's huge it's actually called the huge t so it is absolutely huge and by definition and in its name it's massive so you can depend on how you want it to fit you could size down two sizes in this if you wanted to you will see from this haul that i really love oversized t-shirts and i love a slogan tee as well i just think it adds something a little bit special to a t-shirt so that's why i went for this also because i just love the slogan i feel like this is the sort of t-shirt that you can wear around the house like if you're not going anywhere you've not got anyone at home you can kind of just wear this almost like as a dress but you can also style it up you can belt it put on some stilettos make it very 90s i have styled it like that over on my tiktok um and you know yeah you could like make it like a bit more of a vibe like a dressier sort of look or you can just chuck it on with jeans cycling shorts and kind of like do a bit of a half tuck like i've styled it here or, you know, you can kind of play around with this. I just like this really cool slogan. And I just like how oversized it is. It's not one that you could wear a blazer over, obviously, because it is so oversized. The sleeves wouldn't really fit into a blazer sleeve. So it's something that you wear kind of more casual and, um, yeah. But I just, I really, really like this. I think I did actually style this with a blazer over it. But, this, you know, obviously you have to deal with the fact that the sleeves will scrunch up underneath it. And by the time you take your blazer off the sleeve will probably be creased but if you have no intention of taking your blazer off you can definitely also wear this with a blazer over it but really, really like this t-shirt and um definitely keep an eye on weekday officials t-shirts and their basics because they look amazing and i'll definitely check them out i'm thinking of doing a weekday haul or a basics haul i haven't decided yet but i'm really like interested in weekday um just because i've been looking at their basics i'm a big lover of t-shirts and i see that they've got some really cool ones so yeah 
So then I got a few pairs of joggers from H&M as well. This one is really similar to the, in colour, to the ones that I have on now, the Topshop ones that I've just shown you in the set. So kind of a similar colour, but it's, um, I just really love kind of like pale, lighter coloured knit um, loungewear and like tracksuits. I feel like it makes it feel a little less casual when they're brighter in colour. Although black is typically a more smarter colour, there's something about light loungewear or like comfy wear that I like. I don't like calling it loungewear because I feel like this is not just for me to lounge, it's for me to style up as well. But you know what I mean. I feel like I like them in lighter colours because it just makes it feel a little more is it feminine um, maybe maybe it's a feminine thing i'm generally quite an androgynous dresser but i have noticed that a lot of the tracksuit bottoms and sets that i've gone for have been in lighter colors and i think that is maybe subconsciously i want to keep it as feminine as possible so the difference to these in comparison to the top shop ones is that it has this big band around the top and it is um drawstring and then it has a really big cuff or hem at the bottom as well and these fit really skinny and I do actually like my joggers to fit quite skinny. I just feel like for me, it's easier for me to style it um, in my wardrobe. So if I want to wear this with like sliders or if I'm, I might want to wear it with like a kitten heel, strappy sandal or something like that. And I feel like when they're kind of, when the joggers fit slightly closer to the leg and they look more almost like a legging as opposed to a jogger, but obviously have that jogger material, I feel like it works better with a different variety of shoes and definitely the shoes in my wardrobe. I don't always want to feel like I have to wear my joggers with trainers so that's why i kind of tend to go for joggers that are slimmer in the leg but having said that i haven't tried any of the baggier joggers yet and i think that's something that i might try because there are so many good joggers out there at the moment but yes yeah, so I'm, i've got them in these two colors and i just think they look really good with blazers and they look good with they, they're just really versatile just because they are quite slim to the leg and that was my thing so in this haul I got two very basic t-shirts which is this one which I've already mentioned which is the boxy tee from H&M and then I also have it in this dusty pink as well. Exactly the same t-shirt, I just really like these t-shirts, they feel really good, they're very thick, not thick like as in you're like a jumper kind of thing like this but they just feel like a good fabric, like a good cotton and yeah I just love the boxiness of these and obviously these are really versatile. I think these t-shirts and basically everything I've bought here you can kind of mix and match the style with each other most of the things anyway so I just thought these will just work with tucked into any of my joggers that I've got here really tucked into like cut off denim shorts I do wear a lot of cut off denim shorts around the house as well so yeah these aren't like oversized they're just boxy so they're not the sort of thing that I'd wear with leggings or over cycling shorts or that sort of thing although you could kind of half tuck it into a cycling short but then I'd just be worried about the bum area so yeah these are just more to be tucked into like joggers and jeans and shorts and that sort of thing and they're just really versatile very easy colors again not black I have got some black in here which I generally tend to wear a lot of black but um, you'll see what the black stuff, like, you know, I've just gone for different vibes. So, yeah, so two tees, very simple, very basic, interchangeable with everything, near enough everything here in this haul. So then I got this gorgeous jumper, this sweatshirt in the, I think they call it a washed pink on the website. It's, com it's massive. It's absolutely oversized. I sized up in this and I think you could easily go down two sizes if you don't want your sweatshirt to be really, really oversized. I, at first I was like, oh my god, it's huge, I'm going to have to take it back because it kind of really volumes at the shoulders. But actually I love it and I love how oversized it is. And again, it's just something that I chuck on with my denim shorts. But also I feel like, I haven't styled it yet, but I feel like this is going to look really good with um, the joggers that I just showed you from H&M. The like white creamy ones. So that's kind of how I envision wearing this. And it's just a good sweatshirt. And I just love a sweatshirt to wear instead of a coat or a jacket. Because I'm obviously I'm in the car a lot. Obviously that's when I actually go out and we're not in isolation obviously. So yeah, so, and I, I'm also someone who loves a lot of pink and I just love this colour on my skin so yeah I could also see myself styling this with a pair of like acid wash skinny jeans and some little sliders or some pink mules that I have these pink like vintage retro style knotted toe mules which I um, got from Topshop which I feel would work really well so yeah I feel like this has kind of got that it's kind of a little bit retro it's a bit 80s it's very very oversized is it 80s or 90s? Maybe it's more 90s actually. But it's really, really oversized and because it's got, got that kind of washed tone to it as well. 
and the silhouette i just think it looks a little bit 90s and you can really make it 90s with like a pair of acid wash jeans or a pair of mum jeans and you know just style it up to make it retro but yeah alternatively like i said we're talking about comfy wear here so you could totally wear this with, with a pair of joggers um in like white or cream gray even maybe even you could do like this with like a mint green and do like that pastel trend that's going on right now like pairing pastels together so I absolutely love this sweatshirt and i just think it's a really versatile piece and sweatshirts what's good about it is it's not too thick so it's not like fleecy or anything like that i have a lot of jog um i have a lot of sweatshirts from h m and they're really really fleecy and i love them for the winter and they're perfect to wear when i don't want to wear a jacket or a coat but for now where it's warmer I still want some warmth but I don't want that level of warmth I feel like these sweatshirts that are not fleece lined so much are the ones to go for to wear now and of course then you can still layer them in the winter when it gets cold so then I have three very similar style t-shirts I love oversized throwback vibe t-shirts so like this one is from reclaimed vintage or by reclaimed vintage and it has this obviously massive slogan across the front super super oversized in this like gray black wash color kind of thing so it's kind of faded and then i have by the way i have styled some of these obviously for this video and i've got makeup all over them so don't worry they will be going in the wash after this video i am not just like some disgusting person who does not wash their clothes um so yeah this is another reclaimed vintage tea kind of a nod to the tie-dye trend but not directly and i obviously like i said i love pink so yeah we really love this tea and then this one is from a brand again more makeup from a brand oh, called humel no you know, gotta be quiet remember this is from a brand called Humel, and I think it's a Danish brand. I discovered this brand just when I bought this t-shirt, and I really, really like it. This has kind of got some 90s vibes going on. Again, look at the colour blocks. Again, pink. And, yeah, it's kind of blue at the back, and it's got, like, a little green sleeve here. Just thought it was quite cool. And, again, I would tuck this into um, mum jeans or wear over cycling shorts, wow. that sort of thing. These t-shirts are so easy to style. You can either chuck them over, like, a pair of leggings or you know tuck them into like a pair of cut off shorts just like a half tuck like a really rough messy tuck or put them i wear my black this one as you will see as i styled it i wear this over a pair of leopard print flares and it just gives all of the 90s vibes instantly they're just really easy and flexible to wear feel very comfortable but instant game changers like they have a vibe going on they're not just your plain tees and although you could obviously go for a tee just like this without a massive slogan on it i feel like the slogan really helps to give i mean most of this t-shirt is about the slogan right so the slogan obviously really helps to give the edginess and the vibe so i do think that you know kind of playing around with your t-shirts and not just having plain ones helps to add more character and more detail and says a little bit more about your personal style than just always going for plain tees but of course I love plain tees as well. And then lastly, sorry, I feel like I can actually see the outline of my spot. I have got a huge spot right now somewhere and I feel like you can see the outline of it. Well, if not, you probably can now because I've pointed it out. But yeah, anyway, so then I have these flares which I shared with you in my Topshop haul, which is my last video. Thought I would share them again because I actually bought them for this actual video. And I really love stretchy flares mostly from Topshop. i really love flares as i said i'm not going to go into a full review you can check out the other video i'll link it down below or it'll be linked at the end of this video um but these things are just so comfortable they're almost the same as wearing a legging but they just feel a little bit more elevated than a legging and these are sort of things that like i said i can wear outside of the house as, as well as wearing at home like i said for me loungewear is just comfy clothes that i don't feel too precious about and i'm happy to wear at home so not necessarily clothes that are almost bordering on pajamas i just don't see the point of investing loads of money into that sort of thing because i just don't um but i, I totally get it if if that's people's thing but i i'm always dressed so i'm never really in typical I don't know, like pajamas or lounge. Like I might be in it for like two hours of the day. I get up and get dressed every single day because I work every single day, um, even in isolation. So yes, so that's why I have gone for things that I can, like I said, style outside of the house. And these are something that I just enjoy wearing isolation or no isolation loungewear or not but they're very very comfortable so they are the sort of thing that i find myself reaching for for example if i'm entertaining people and i've got people over and i want to be comfortable but i still want to have something that looks a little bit glam and like i've made an effort so that's when i tend to go for like my flares and i have like a few pairs and i'll you'll see them in this video as well so that is everything that i have bought 
um, for my loungewear haul. Yes, Allegra? You didn't do the pink one. I did, I've done it already. So now I'm gonna style everything up. So as you can see, I have just styled these yellow or ecru joggers with this really cool puff sleeve jacket that I got from Zara, which I absolutely love. This jacket is just the sleeves that make it. I have seen a few jackets like this now in Topshop and I think in H&M, I don't think it's available in Zara anymore, but absolutely love this jacket. It just adds an instant kind of 80s vibe to it. And just add something, you know, obviously this season we're all about elevated denim and I feel like that, that jacket is definitely an elevated denim jacket because it just has those sleeves which add something different to the silhouette. I've kept it quite casual for this. I really like the green Mara Porter bag against the Ecra. I just think it works quite nicely. Adds a bit of an unexpected pop of colour as well. I don't think most people would think to put a green bag against this outfit but I just think it looks nice. And again with a boxy tee and some white on white feeler 90 vibe, 90s vibes chunky trainers. So just a really fresh, light and easy look that I would wear, you know, on the nursery run, maybe going for a coffee after the nursery run or to run my errand. So now I've just styled the full uh, tracksuit. Wait, hold on. So now... Uh, look I am. <laughs> I'm funny. Allegra dressed herself today. I did not dress her. That's why she looks... She's got some leggings, some clippity clops, some shorts and a not mini... clippity clops. Oh, your heels then. Sorry, your heels. <laughs> to get down. Okay. So, I've just styled the tracksuit with a pair of stilettos, like some court shoes, just to really elevate the look and gone for a very monochromatic look. I think if you ever wonder how or if you ever want to make your tracksuits look a little bit more polished, classic, a little bit more expensive than going for monochrome, I don't know if always a heel makes a, a tracksuit look more expensive. I think it makes it, if anything, really edgy and a little bit more sexy. But to make it look expensive, definitely going for a monochromatic look and a good structured bag always helps. I have just popped it on with a pair of court shoes just to make it a little bit sexy up because I showed you already a look with a pair of trainers. But yes, yeah, so I absolutely love this kind of look. I think I styled it like this in my style video that I did. But go and check that out for all the ways that I have styled this little loungewear set from Topshop. So as you can see, I've just styled this t-shirt super 90s. I've just chucked on a pair of Vans, some dark glasses, plastic frames to kind of really give that 90s retro throwback vibe. And I, that's just how I like it. I think that you can obviously, I've just worn it as a dress, but of course it would make no difference if you put cycling shorts beneath it, crossbody bag, alternatively you could do like a bum bag I feel like if i was to go for a bum bag that would be just a little bit too 90s unless you wore it crossbody like a really nice mock croc smarter one um, but i've just gone up for my crossbody mama porter bag and sometimes what i like to do is actually wear the strap slightly shorter so it almost looks like a bum bag without being a bum bag so it kind of like sits at hip, hip so it kind of sits at hip height but without actually being a bum bag if you know what i mean just kind of nods to that trend but without being full-on like 90s fancy dress and just like it's a 90s vibe kind of thing so that's how i've just styled it and i just think it's a sort i have been interrupted about twenty thousand times i don't know what christian's doing he's supposed to be looking after a leg and he's just not anyway um so yeah i've just kept it like super 90s but 90s vibes not 90s fancy dress and i think that's always important when you're kind of dressing through the decades i love to dress through the decades i love 70s 80s 90s also love a bit of 1920s as well but i think unless it's fancy dress you kind of just want to nod to the decade you don't want to be fully embracing it to the point that it actually looks like fancy dress but not that, that is your actual outfit kind of thing so that's just one thing that i always try to bear in mind what i need and what i would love to go with this outfit is a big pair of hoops i don't have a big pair of hoops and i need to get some um and of course you could go for a chunkier gold necklace as well like a gold chain or you could do a gold but like a big gold like chain bracelet kind of thing and actually one tip that i have just randomly i'll just share this with you now hang on one second these chain belts which i style a lot in summer if you are if you follow me on instagram you'll probably know that this chain belt comes out in every single style video that i do in summer and you can kind of really play around with how you wear these so although it's a belt i have occasionally wrapped it around my wrist to give a really chunky statement bangle kind of vibe i'm not going to wrap it all the way around what i'm doing it but you can kind of do it like that and you get a bit of a vibe or you can wear it as a chain around the neck you can kind of double it up if you want to and then you get like the vibes like that um and then you can obviously wear it around your waist 
as well. You can it actually, I've styled it with this t-shirt actually and belted the t-shirt. It looks quite cool, very, very um, 90s again. So these chain belts, coin belts or chain belts, really worth investing in because they can be very versatile and you can really um, use them to change up your look. Okay guys, full disclosure, it's a whole new day today. I was getting interrupted so much when I was last filming that I just gave up. Also, the light was awful. Today we have got a little bit of light, although it probably won't last for long. So, um, back into the video. So, I have just styled the H&M joggers with this dusty pink t-shirt. I just think they work really well together. They're like neutrals. And if you ever want a way to style your loungewear or your comfy wear but have it looking a little bit more classic or a little bit more expensive or elegant even then i think going for paler colors always works styling it with maybe like a slider or a mule like i did with the snake print slides that i got on which are super super old from zara they are a copy of the chloe mules um they're just they're just something that work so well in my wardrobe they look really well with like a pair of black bermuda shorts and a linen shirt that sort of thing but also because I have gone for a narrower jogging bottom, I feel like they also work really well with these style joggers. And in any sort of neutral colour, these would go with actually. And so I've kind of kept it like neutral to make it a little bit more elegant. And then I have just gone for this woven bag. This is just from Primark. I just love this bag. It's the perfect summer bag. I bought it last year to take to Italy. And I just thought, you know what, it would go really well with this outfit. To try and add that natural kind of vibe to it, that's kind of what I was going for, like a natural kind of like colours and tones and that sort of thing. And I think it also makes it look really elegant, but also it's the sort of bag that's big enough to work with this outfit. Because I feel like this is an outfit that you'd wear to run around, maybe go for a quick coffee or something like that. And having a big bag like that that you can chuck all your necessities into is the sort of bag, that, the sort of size bag you would need. And the, wave, the fact that it's woven just kind of ties in with the neutral, natural tones that I've gone for keeps it still very elegant and i obviously went for a brown pair of sunglasses to keep it still in the neutral color tone so like brown as opposed to black which black i think is always a little bit more sharper and edgier whereas brown is just a bit more classic laid back and a little bit more understated so that is how i styled the joggers and the dusty pink boxy tee definitely keep your eye out in general anyway for slimmer leg jogging bottoms if you are someone that generally tends to be a little bit smarter more classic or just someone who or just someone who's a little bit dressier because i feel like the the oversized joggers they work well but i think they work better if you're wearing them with a tighter tee or a slimmer top on on your top half like they look really good with those skin tight tanks or those bodies that zara's doing and then like a nice oversized pair of joggers or even if you're doing a little crop top for me i'm not wearing any crop tops or skin tight anything on top so that's why i'd rather go for slimmer at the leg and baggier at the top and also because i'm not so much someone who I would wear joggers with a trainer, but I definitely prefer a slimmer leg jogger because it just helps to fit feel, for me, just that bit dressier. So if you're kind of battling with loungewear or this jogger trend, then I would say, and you want to dip your toe and just start out, go with something that's more slimmer to the leg like what I have done. And then if you feel like then, okay, I can, can work with this trend, then maybe try the the, the baggier fit joggers. But oh, the baggier fit joggers are obviously perfect to wear at home, but I'm talking about things that we can wear beyond the home. I just think we want things that also work with our style. We're not just buying clothes just to wear in our house. I cannot tell you how much I love this sweatshirt. First of all, I love pink. I don't know if I said that in this video already. I absolutely love pink. Um, sorry, my camera. So yeah, first of all, I love pink. This is such a gorgeous shade of pink. I love how oversized it is. As you can see, like I said, it is really oversized. And I've just popped it on again with the H&M joggers in the like creamy color. I think it's a beautiful color combo. Obviously, we're seeing a lot of like pinks being paired with neutrals and camels and that sort of color tone at the moment. And it's just a very fresh look, but still laid back. Instead of going for a trainer, because I feel like a trainer with a jogging bottom and sweatshirt is a bit too tracksuit-esque for me. I don't mind wearing a tracksuit, but I just want to kind of make it a little bit more of a vibe and a little bit more unexpected. I feel like it's very expected to put on a whole tracksuit with a trainer, which is fine if that's your style. Um, but, you know, if you want to kind of change it up, be a bit more unexpected, then maybe going for some Birkenstocks, like what I have gone for, or just any sort of, like, chunky sandal or slider. I have realised while I've been doing this styling video that I ha I really do need to invest in some shoes. I wanted to be able to pair this with maybe like a white shoe or a paler shoe, but I don't really have the right kind of um, slider or mule that would go with this. I have got white slides, like white mules. I have these ones, which are from Zara, but obviously these don't really work with the whole jogger sort of thing because they're quite an elegant shoe. 
and I think that the Birkenstocks work better because they've got a heavy chunky sole and they help, help to like reproportion the look and ground the look a little bit more and they just kind of work with the more casual style that I've gone for whereas those Zara shoes that I just showed you are a little bit elegant and elegant with this vibe doesn't really work I don't think wouldn't achieve the look that I'm going for so that's how I styled it I've gone for so because I have got a black Birkenstock I have gone for some dark sunglasses some black sunglasses as well just to tie in some of the black and then I've put on one of my pink Mama Porter bags but alternatively you could go for tan maybe no, maybe not tan with these shoes you could potentially do tan or you could do like an off-white ivory style color bag so something similar to this also works really well but again I don't know if you'd want to wear something as structured as this with Birkenstocks and a tracksuit or like a sweatshirt and joggers but in this sort of colour obviously it's almost identical to the trousers that I have on so something in this sort of colour would work really well so again to style this tee I've gone for a super 90s vibe um I do love 90s like I said so for me generally when I tend to go for these oversized tees I am channeling my 90s situation, so I've just put on a pair of cycling shorts, really cheap, inexpensive cycling shorts, maybe two or three pounds from Primark. Because I'm wearing them beneath really oversized tees, I'm not too worried about how firm or supportive they are, but I will invest in some better cycling shorts just because I find that I'm wearing them a lot more now that I'm on TikTok and I'm working out a bit and stuff like that. And I feel like they just work in my wardrobe easily, just like a, a pair of leggings would. But I just prefer cycling shorts to leggings. I'm not a big legging person, actually. But anyway, so I've just popped this T-shirt on with the cycling shorts and then my Dolce & Gabbana trainers, which if you notice, I've actually got them on now, so I'll show you. They have all the colours of the T-shirt in and they also have black in them, which obviously picks up on the black of the cycling shorts so it's obviously got some green here which I've got green here and then it's got some blue although a different shade of blue and and it's got some pink as well which is here so it ties in really nicely with my t-shirt I don't think you have to be so precious about color matching at all but I just think because I've got lots of colors going on here if you're kind of uncertain just look for something that picks out one of the colors or just go for something plain um but yeah i just thought it was cool and also this adds a bit of print into it as well so i just think these trainers add a really good vibe to the look um and these are like i hardly have worn these trainers because i have them also in a black uh, in a typical leopard print colorway as well um but these trainers they are just such a special trainer and i'm trying to find some good trainers at the moment that that are that look a bit different something special but that don't cost loads because i already have a few pairs of like Dolce Gabbana trainers in my wardrobe I don't feel like I need another luxury pair I just want a good cool pair um like maybe with a cool print or in cool in with some cool colors but I haven't found any so yeah I'm not really up to speed when it comes to trainers as you can probably tell I'm styling all of this these joggers with everything but trainers apart from a few um of the the looks so yeah so I really need some trainers I think I'm gonna have to ask for if you guys know of any cool trainers please link them down below or let me know because I I just need some trainer inspo and it's been a good few months now that I've been looking for some new trainers I do have the converse well I did have the converse run star hikes and unfortunately I had to return them they were I just found myself not reaching for them because they kept I feel like they just cut me off at the leg I don't think high tops are for me that's what I realized as much as I love them and as cool as they are and I was thinking okay I'm gonna wear these with like short shorts and with like little skirts little little dresses and that sort of thing but they just didn't work for my legs really so that's why I ended up returning those so I do need another pair um of trainers so let me know if you know of any please and then I obviously popped it on with again like 90s vibes so this Fendi bag which has got the Fendi monogram on it I bought this I mean this is obviously um that the monogram is very 90s-esque but I bought this um I don't know a long time ago so it's technically vintage now but I you know I don't I hope that I'm not vintage in age but um but I guess after 10 years it becomes vintage and I've had this bag well over 10 years and um, this kind of silhouette again this hobo shape is quite 90s or old school anyway um, and the monogram again and also the black just ties in with the black of the trainers and my um cycling shorts so so yeah and then some black sunglasses as well some reflector style sunglasses I think these were like just 15 pounds from I don't know like a little like market in Italy like they're not um designer or anything but this reflector vibe just kind of makes me feel just makes it a little bit edgy but again a Ray-Ban would look really cool with this look or anyway this kind of this kind of shape and style of sunglass regardless whether it's reflector or not but yeah so that was how I styled this 
tea. And like I said, this is by a Scandi brand called Humel that I've just discovered and I really, really like their stuff and I'm on the lookout for cool teas as well. Like I am trainers, cool teas that maybe not everybody has and um, that are a little bit kind of different or a little bit unknown or emerging brands, that sort of thing. I like to invest in t-shirts because they just work well with my lifestyle. They're very easy wearing. I can dress them up and dress them down and kind of transform them. They're almost like a blank canvas although this t-shirt is very bold but you know depend it, I just feel like they're versatile and like you can kind of style them up how you like and I just don't have the need for many dressy going out tops because I work from home I do a lot of socializing in houses I go to drinks at my friends houses or have people over um, and very rarely go out out and I have a few like kind of dressy tops and dressy dresses that I have in rotation for when I need to go out but that's so so um rare <laughs> unfortunately that I just don't accumulate a lot of going out clothes i'm definitely kind of more casual and basic so i can kind of work to my style so that's so actually kind of shopping this stuff works with my wardrobe anyway i'm like i said i'm not buying specifically just for isolation or for loungewear or to be in my house because my lifestyle generally is in my house anyway so then i have just popped on this tie-dye splice tea from reclaim vintage and i've just styled it with some black kitten hill sandals and my black mama porter bag and I think if you wanted to make this more of a vibe or up the ante a little bit, you could go for a belt like this one. I think this really helps to give some more throwback vibes. Um, you know, I do love a bit of Versace because, you know, like I said, I just love 90s, that kind of aesthetic. So the Versace belt always does that nicely. The alternatively, just a big um, gold buckled belt. Denim cut off shorts in a black wash. I am somebody who loves cut off denim. I didn't think at 36 I would still be rocking cut off shorts as much as I do, but I just find them really comfortable. And although I don't, I do wear jeans when I work from home, but I know that most people wouldn't consider denim something that's like comfy or loungewear. But to me, a cut off denim look is just, I just think it just looks cool. It's something you can wear out in your garden. And yeah, I generally tend to wear my cut-off shorts when I'm out in the garden, um, but I do wear them out and about. I know that a lot of people would not. So alternatively, you could just chuck this on again with a pair of cycling shorts. These oversized tees are just so flexible and versatile, like I said, that you can really style them very easily. I know that not everybody gets down with cut-off denim shorts, so uh, yeah. So, but I, so I'm just sh showing you it as an alternative, but this could easily just be worn with a pair of jeans. And then last, but by no means least, are these flares that I have styled with just the white boxy tee from H&M, which I think actually looks really nice worn over the trousers as opposed to tucked in. I hadn't tried it worn loose before, but I actually quite like it like that. Um, and these, the t-shirt is quite good length, so it can be worn almost, it's not quite oversized, but it is looser than like your typical t-shirt, and it's not as baggy as an oversized t-shirt. It's a really nice kind of size actually this t-shirt i'm just realizing now i didn't realize how long it was in the body as well and how loose it is i think it lends itself quite well to be worn over these kind of stretchy flares that you know you might want to cover a little bit of your modesty because they are very stretchy and thin and they don't really add much support or anything like that so obviously if i'm wearing it loose i want to be quite casual if i'm going to tuck it in and do a bit of a half tuck at the front like i've done then i was thinking you could put on something like this if you wanted it to be a little bit of a dressier look or a festival looks so obviously i have paired it with some gladiator sandals um, which i can't show you because i can't obviously they take ages to get off my feet but yeah so just some black gladiator sandals that are just really really old i want to say about eight years old maybe from zara maybe not maybe six years old from zara just gladiator sandals in summer are just a classic and they go really nicely underneath these flares and obviously the flares are like a floral print so they have kind of a 70s festival kind of vibe going on and then i've just styled it with did i style it oh i think i styled it with the black oh no i went with the green i went with the green because i think black is obviously very predictable and the green obviously um picks up on some of the green in the actual trousers there are some like green little leaves on the trousers so that's why i went for the green mama porter bag as well i did want to actually start with the darker mama porter bag but it's not actually here so i think it's um in my storage so yeah so so that's how i styled this look and i really really love this look and i've styled it a few ways on i will link some of my no it's, where have i styled it um, and I have obviously these trousers in lots of different colourways and different patterns because they're to me it's something that I feel really comfortable in to wear at home but also I like to dress up with like a little kitten heel and they're just so comfortable but they feel glam and I'm all about effortless 
comfortable glam that's what i like i like to feel comfortable i like to wear clothes that are functional and i like to wear clothes that can also be glam as well because as much as i, I like to wear basics i like to dress them up i like i like to wear my basics as a blank canvas to add my style which before i you know resigned from my job and started working for myself i used to work in fashion and i have always been someone that's been you know the sort of person that does a full face of makeup every morning before they go to work and has to choose an outfit and plan an outfit the night before that's not my life anymore at all but i still have some of that aesthetic that i like to achieve in my looks even if i am even if i am just at home even if I'm not required to be out and about in a glamorous places or working in a fashion company, I still like to keep a little bit of me that was existent before I had a child. And I kind of try and do it in my style because that's the easiest way for me to do it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it useful. Um, I hope there's kind of been a bit of insight into more styling because I think my last two videos have been more haul videos i wanted to talk a little bit more about my personal style and just how i would style these loungewear pieces to take them beyond isolation but I also my, my real thing that i love to do is styling so if you like these styling videos i'll definitely try and alternate maybe one haul one styling video one haul one styling video that kind of thing um and that's it again as always guys you can follow me on instagram for daily style inspo i'm on tw um twitter i mean i'm on twitter but i hardly ever use it i'm on tiktok now creating lots of fun videos doing some kind of dance videos as well and just more kind of creative fashion videos and you can check out my blog where all of my outfits that i wear on a daily basis are linked and that's kind of it please subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this this video and don't forget to tap that bell for a notification for when my next video goes up i don't know what that's going to be yet might be a zara haul i'm not sure but anyway, i've got to go now because i'm sure my little one is coming in to terrorize the set um have a lovely day week month life whatever and i hope you come back again ciao ciao